What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Mine and Jelena, and I'm here with another video for you guys. Around this time of the year is when a lot of people get their taxes. And around this time of the year is when a lot of people file for, file for their taxes and all of that stuff. This is a very important video, especially for those of you who do want to make that leap to entrepreneurship and eventually leave your corporate America job to solely focus on your business and your business ventures. As you can see from the title, this video is going to be all about how to fund your business with little to no money. And the method that I'm going to share with you guys is a method that I personally used when I decided to open Allure 96. But I still want to be transparent with you guys and let you guys know that this is not the only method you can use but we're only specifically going to talk about two methods within this entire video first and foremost I want to say thank you to all the people who attended the how to start a hair company webinar it was a huge webinar it was amazing and you guys learned so much information along with vendor information as well but I still do have emails and also DMs about when will the replay be available for that webinar. And the replay is available right now. So if you are interested in starting your very own hair company and you want to know legit all the ins and outs, and if you also need a reliable vendor that supplies a portion of Allure 96 hair, which is my own hair company, this replay is for you and you can go ahead and purchase your replay everything will be right in the description box for you in case you are interested moving on to the purpose of this video like i said this video is going to be all about how to fund your business but just be mindful that this isn't these are not the only two ways that i'm going to give you so the first way i'm going to give you is a more simpler route especially for those who file for taxes which everyone should but if you already have a job or a career and you file for your taxes usually when you file for your taxes you do receive money once you file your taxes for most people some people may owe money or some people may receive money so those of you who are receiving lump sums of money and it's basically extra money to help you get by extra money to put food on the table extra money to do some of the things that you probably can't do on your normal salary starting your business is going to be amazing for that now you don't now I'm not saying take your entire refund check and things like that to bl to spend it all on starting your business and following your dreams. That's not what I'm saying because you still want to be responsible. You still want to make sure you and your family are able to survive that this money is going to help you. But you also need to take a, a portion of that money and put it into your brand and put it behind your business. So that is more so of the easy route to funding your business because you can start a like we're going to specifically speak on hair companies because that is my niche but you can easily start a hair company with 500 bucks you can easily start a hair company with 400 dollars and that's all the money that you would then have to put into your business in the beginning if you decided to go that route another way to funding your business which is the way that i personally did it was was working your normal nine to five corporate America job and saving. That is very important. Now, I know a lot of people probably click on my videos to find some get rich quick scheme, but that's not always the case. It's a lot of footwork you have to put behind starting a business. It's a lot of work behind it. So if you already have a job, have a job and you get your normal bi-weekly paychecks or monthly paychecks or weekly paychecks, depending on how your job is set up, take a portion of that and put 10% of that up until you reach your goal. Like I said, you don't need thousands on top of thousands of dollars to start a company it's all about the method that I use is all about what you can afford to do at that particular time when I started Allure 96 I started Allure 96 with about $500 and with that $500 I got me a logo which was exactly $100 which left me with $400 out of that $400 I started a website when I opened my hair company I started with a big cartel website that was $10 or 10 to $12 so that left me with roughly about $385 $390 left over and with that that's what I purchased inventory with that's the big bulk of your business everything outside of that your packaging your DBAs LLCs all of that stuff may not be covered within that $500 
but that $500 will cover the basics of everything and get you a bottom line going for your business. And like I said, that is the method that I use. I personally say when people who are interested in starting companies and they don't necessarily have tons of funds to put up front for their companies, start with the basics and then work your way up. Honestly, in my opinion, there's no point of purchasing a DBA or getting your business legalized if you don't necessarily know that this is the business you're going to stay in. So I would say start your business, give it about a month or so, and then go ahead and legalize everything once you realize that this is something that you genuinely want to invest in and this is a business that you genuinely can see yourself in three years from now, five years from now, ten years from now. So back to the whole funding of everything. The first way of funding your business is through taxes. This is tax season. This is when you guys should see a lot of your businesses growing. This is when you guys should be starting a lot of your business because the additional money that you're getting will help go towards those things that you dream about. It should help you start your business. It should help you get your packaging. It should help you get your inventory. It should help you get legalized for your business and so much more. Now the other way, like I just mentioned, was the way that I used and the way that I preferred and that was working your normal nine to five job and building. Saving 10% off, e off of each one of your checks and putting it in a little savings account until you reach that $500 threshold. Or maybe you have a $400 threshold that you wanna meet or maybe a 600 or a $1,000 threshold. Take that 10% out of each check, put it in your savings until you do reach that threshold. Once you get to that threshold, start dispersing money on your websites, on your logo designer, on your web designer, whatever you want for your business, start doing it then. But if you guys were like me when I started my business, like I said, I didn't have tons of money to just invest. I didn't have tons of money and thousands of hundreds, hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars to even put towards much. So I had to start baby with baby steps. That's why I started with the Big Cartel website, which is a very cheap um, web builder on the, on the market. There's a lot of different ways you can go go about funding your business but those are the main two especially currently because right now like I said it is tax season in case you want to go that route or if maybe you want to go down the route where you just put aside a certain amount of money and then once you reach that threshold you work with what you have so I hope this video was informative for you guys especially for those who didn't necessarily know what to do as far as starting their business but needed a little bit of direction now if you are completely out the loop as far as like starting a hair company and every single thing you need to start a hair company that's when i would recommend you go ahead and purchase the replay and like i said the replay to how to start a hair company will be right below for you guys it's the very first link in the description box in case you are interested in that lastly i adore all of you guys thank you guys for subscribing to this channel definitely go ahead and like this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye